I had somebody tell me they were unsubscribing because I endorsed Chick-fil-A. <laughs> unsubscribing! I keep looking over there, I just will never break that habit. Hey guys, welcome to Tiny House Customs. I'm Dan. I wanted to talk to you in today's video about internet. There's several things you worry about when living in a tiny house, and one would be electricity, water, oops where you shit I mean your toilet where does your waste go you know what 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 are you doing there you got a composting you got a flushing toilet you have a septic that's you know those are three big things but in today's society internet is probably one of those things that most typical homes have in them and it's something that I've lived without in my house off and on for the last three years so I finally got a solution to my internet problem and I wanted to share it to you. It broke. My $100 tripod just broke. Damn it. It still works. No, it won't. It won't hold it. I'm going to fix the hell out of that. Maybe I can order the part. It looks like you can get parts for it. So before I show you what I did to solve my problem, I'm going to show you some of the things that I did years ago. So when I first moved out to this property. So my tiny house is right there. Yeah, she needs a little oil on her. She's a little uh, dry and getting aged. Reminds me of my beach summer home that I have. Not yet purchased. So I'm here in the barn and that is the shipping container. And then the, the main property house is way over there. So when I first moved here, I bought a thousand feet of Cat5 ethernet cord. Now I ran that Cat5 right here it runs on top of the fence all the way across it goes underground a couple times this cord is not meant to stay outside it's not meant to go underground and the distance that i'm running i would say i'm about two to three hundred feet yeah 275 i'll call that to there and so what i did was i ran it to the barn and then in the barn i put i don't know what the box is called it's gone because I doesn't didn't work. I don't have the thing, but basically I put a box in here where that wire connected into it. And I was told that it was supposed to like help with this signal when the uh, cord went to my house because I still had another 200 feet to go to my house, which was too far for a direct run with that line. And then I buried it in the ground in the back here all the way to my uh, tiny house when I put in my first piece of electric wire, which was just like some, some 15 or 20 amp electricity. So that cord worked for about three or four months and then uh, it started fading out and I was able to get internet in the barn when I worked in there, but the internet can signal in my house started going out. And then after about a year, it completely stopped working. I know mice were chewing on the wire and stuff like that. And so, I abandoned the cord and it's now it's just useless. I need to just clean it all up and get it out of there because it doesn't work anymore. I did a lot of research on how to like send internet because I've seen other YouTubers who live out in the middle of nowhere and they were sending signals back to their houses and stuff like that. In those videos I was watching, I was seeing a lot of guys had antennas like this. Okay, this is a directional antenna. Basically, there's two different types of antennas, Omni, which would be omni, every which way, all, I don't know, omni direction. And then I think this is directional. I think that's the other option. I, and, and I could be missaying words in this video and all these weird things because I don't really know that much about this stuff, but I'm pretty sure this is a directional antenna. So you put it on something and you point it in the direction you want that signal to go. Now the problem with this is my landlords have really really poor internet like in their house they're getting 10 maybe 5 megabytes per second download speed i went over to my neighbor's house lives basically closer to me than their actual house he was getting about 70 to 100 megabytes per second download speeds which is like holy cow really fast so i talked to him and showed him you know that i had this antenna and then I had also bought this thing. I want to say it's a router. Eh, could be wrong. Pretty sure it's a router. It puts off the Wi-Fi signal. Now this antenna has a little screw dabby thingy here, kind of like a coax cable, but a little bit smaller. And that gets screwed into um, 
one of the antennas. So these are removable antennas that screw into the back. So there was three ports. You screw this into one of those ports. You plug their internet into this and then it sends the signal back to my house. But he wasn't a fan of me drilling holes anywhere in his house. Even though he has like four holes drilled in behind his TV for cable and telephone, all these different things, he didn't want me to drill any holes, which I can't fault him for that. It's not my house, it's his, so, all right. Um, so what I was gonna do was get a longer cord. I could got like, I could have bought a, like a hundred foot of this cord, but it was pretty expensive and then I wasn't really in control of this anymore. This was out of my property. It was on their property. If there was something wrong with it, I couldn't fix it. So I kind of just left that alone. And I, I honestly, I bought that stuff a year ago and I really felt like I wasted a lot of money to, to do all that. I think I spent about $120, $150 to do that system. And it, it didn't end up working out. So then I went online and I did some more research and I found a um, antenna that you can receive a signal with. So it was extremely expensive. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, maybe the link's in the description below. If not, Tiny House Customs is where you go for that kind of shit. But I posted a picture of an antenna that I bought. It was $300. It was an antenna and I believe a router is what that's called. Whatever the thing is that puts off the Wi-Fi signal. So I installed the antenna. Let me... Let me try to give you the best shot I can. So I installed the antenna up there. I put a little metal post in the ground, kind of whatever, and then I just wire tied it to the corner of the shipping container right there. If that ever gets hit by lightning, oh boy, it's gonna be a spark show. So that antenna then has a very similar wire to that uh, directional antenna. That is also a directional antenna. You can get this system that I got in Omnidirection. It's basically just a little white pole that sticks up and it collects signal from all directions. If you lived in an RV, that would be a great option. That goes up there and then that cord, it only came with a 30 foot cord. So I now have this wonderful wire, but this whole area behind my tiny house is just a, oh my God, I left my drill outside and it rained. Thank you for still working. So I sent that wire into my crawl space in my tiny house underneath, you know, where my water tanks are. And I hooked up that router there. And while I ran that cord in there, I also ran a Cat 6, which is, Cat 6 is basically the same thing as a Cat 5. A little bit better though, I think. Again, not very knowledgeable with this shit, but. So I ran that in there. The setup process for that whole thing is really easy. Uh, I did it all on my phone. Basically, when you set this antenna up and you open up your Wi-Fi settings on your phone, it'll show you the crane, which was, that's what that was. It was like a crane. It shows you that Wi-Fi. You click on it, and then it automatically pops open a web browser that shows you different um, Wi-Fi signals that it's catching. When I first set it up, just I did it in my house to do a test to see if it actually worked before I ran it and all that. And I wasn't getting a great signal, but I was getting some signal, and... I was able to set it up. And so I was picking up their house, I was picking up the, the next door neighbor, which is even farther away, I was picking up theirs. And I, for shits and giggles, I pointed it back there and I was getting three signals over there. Never pointed it in that direction, but the thing is supposed to go a half a mile. So that's pretty good. Um, from here, I'm shooting through all this brush and trees and stuff to the little white house right there. It does get a good signal from that distance. It shows you which signal is the strongest and obviously you'd want to connect to the strongest one you can if you have the Wi-Fi password that it's going to. So then in my house, I have that router that has a little antenna and it is, it's putting off Wi-Fi from that little router. The router in my house has its own network name and then it has its own password. So. Anytime I want to connect to it, after I taught that machine that it's to connect to my neighbor's Wi-Fi and I entered in their password, then every time I'm in my house, it automatically does it. But initially, you connect to the crane and you enter in the password that's on the back of the little black router that it comes with. Very easy to set up. I probably spent an hour and a half, two hours 
running the wire, plugging things in, attaching things. Didn't take much time and it was very hassle free to set up. Again, very expensive, $300 I spent on that antenna system, but I got Wi-Fi now. So you guys know that I have a smart TV in my living room, but I don't have a couch. Not yet, soon, hopefully. I really, I'm found one that I want, I'm gonna, and we're gonna, we're gonna get it, we're gonna get that couch. All right, okay. So I, my TV in my bedroom is pretty old. I, I have an Apple TV that I use down there, but I lost a little remote because I hadn't had internet for you know two years. I was at Best Buy to go and get just a $10 remote, and I was looking at TVs and I was like, hey, why the hell not just get a new smart TV because those things are just wonderful. My living room TV is a smart TV. They're really cool. So I, I bought a TV without measuring things and I brought this thing home and now my bedroom is literally a TV. Like bought a 39 inch TV, which you would think is not that big, but at the foot of your bed, like right where my feet are is a 39 inch TV. The thing is massive and you're only like six feet away from it. Supposedly it's good, fine, it's okay to be that close. I love the TV, I think it's great. I get like the, oh, I don't wanna say the fizz, but I don't even know what the fizz is. What is the fizz? When things start fizzing, I go to the doctor. Are you fizzing? You getting double fizz? Oh God, what's happening down there? Maybe you should see a doctor. Well, I'll pray for your family. If some of you guys get that joke, that's, Bravo on you. Oh, I thought that was clever, clever joke I just made. So yeah, I got that uh, new smart TV, which is great. I know you guys really want to see the inside of my house, but it's not finished. It's literally like just a little, it's not done. And I'm not like, like so proud of the thing. It's a house that I live in that is good enough for me. And I don't want to be judged on the way I live. That's why I haven't really brought you into the house because it's fine for me. I, you guys know who I am. Just leave me alone. And if I did a tiny house tour video, it's going to get a lot of viewers that are not subscribers and a lot of hate most likely. So that's why I'm not bringing you into my house. I know you guys really, you guys, every video, if someone says, can we see the inside of your house? I'd love to show you, but. That's my, that's my personal space. So in the back of the little black box, the, the router that's in my house, is it a modem or router? I think it's a router. Go with router. Is this a router? Oh, night hawk. Router, yes. I think I was speaking the right words. So that little black box, that little router that's in my house has two spots for um, ethernet cable. You know, looks like the old school telephone line, but bigger, you know, more wire. There's two spots to hook in wires like this. So I hooked up one small wire from the router to my TV. So my TV has a hard line from there to, to the router. I ran that cat six through there outside and then it comes up into the shipping container and it goes to right here. I really wanted to just take that hard line and plug it into my, uh, my new used MacBook Pro, but it didn't realize this, but this is not like this is a 2014 so this is they still have things to plug things in i know the newer ones is just all dongle whatever dongles are but it doesn't have a place to plug it in i think you can get an adapter to the fire stick port thingies i don't know what they're called since i had this router already I plug this in and now I'm creating a Wi-Fi hotspot in my shipping container. I've run different speed tests on uh, the, the speed that I'm getting in my house and then here with this thing. Basically right now is no rain. I still have the obstructions, you know, fall hasn't hit completely. So there's still leaves on the trees. And right now I'm getting, you know, roughly you get, I get, I'm getting from there maybe 70 megabytes per second. I'm getting 20 to 30 megabytes here at this location for download. And then for upload is 10 megabytes per second, but I don't upload at home. The internet speed at my, uh, in my work is stupid fast. So on my uh, lunch break, I'll t typically just bring my laptop in there and hit upload on there. So it uploads from work and it takes two minutes versus if I did it at home, it'd take like three, four hours. 24 megabytes per second download and 9.8 upload. Obviously those numbers fluctuate and change a little bit here and there. And I'm getting roughly the same numbers in my, uh, in my tiny house. One thing I think you could do, and if you wanted to go a farther distance, is if you did have access to the host, to the, the neighbor's house, hook this up, 
point it at your house and then take that other antenna that I have out there and point it towards this. So you have two antennas that are pointing towards each other. I really feel like you could go a freaking far distance. I think that antenna said you can do up to three miles and but they say they only like you know promise a half a mile but I think if you did that type of setup where you had two antennas pointing at each other you're gonna get that possible three miles but obviously you need to be able to see it line of sight I would believe so you go up high and shoot it uh, I have seen YouTube channels that have done some setups like that where they have this thing pointing and then another one receiving so I'm, ass I'm assuming that would work, but if you are looking to just kind of like steal off people's internet, the one that I have now is really good. I will, please remind me if I forget, Patreon supporters remind me, so I'll do it before it goes live on YouTube, but um, I'll put the link to the product that I bought in the description so you can check it out. It's on Amazon. It is expensive, $300. Think about it, 50 bucks a month for internet. In six months, that thing's going to be paid for. And in six months, maybe I'll throw my neighbor like 20 bucks. Maybe. If he starts complaining, my internet is very slow. He's not Asian. I don't know why I went Asian. Why'd you go Asian? We shouldn't go Asian. That's nothing wrong with going Asian. Got my internet very slow. No, why? Why are you going Asian? He's Mexican. Hot, mucho caliente, easy papi. And my internet no good. There it is. Got it. There's the Mexican. But yeah, I'm super stoked with the things that I've done. Did have to spend a little bit of money, but I've got a smart TV now in my bedroom so I can Netflix and chill. Ladies, looking to chill. Single again. Daniel, Daniel, it's okay. You don't have to pretend. Daniel, we know. It's okay. Just come on out. It's safe. It's 2019. You don't need to, don't need to hide anymore. Just... Have had it. I mean, no, don't do it. You're so excited and happy, isn't you? I didn't do anything. You touched me inappropriately. Peanut, I was loving on you. Yeah, that's, that's but inappropriating. Okay, okay. I love you. Can I have a kiss? Easy kiss, 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 kiss. Okay, thank you. But I hope you did enjoy this video. I know it wasn't typical for my channel, but it is a problem. Well, God. <laughs> but it is something that I, uh, I've had to deal with for the last like two, three years. It's been a while. I've been in this tiny house for a long time. You know, something that I think about is I want to share my thoughts on tiny house living. I might do a video, but it'll just be me sitting in front of the camera talking about the pros and cons of living in a tiny house. Because when I started doing it, you started seeing people do like three, four years, and then they were like, all right, I'm done. You know, there's, there's many people on Instagram that I followed that built tiny houses, lived in them for two, three, four years, and then they got the hell out of them. I'd love to share my thoughts on that. If you guys are interested in hearing about that, uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'll do a video talking about my opinions. Oh boy, opinions never go well. But again, thanks for watching. Check out the uh, link in the description if you wanna look at the things that I bought. I'm gonna put both the antennas. I'll put this one, and I'll put the one that I bought that actually works really well. I mean, honestly, I could set up a whole neighborhood with antennas and everybody's got Wi-Fi. And you know, I could start collecting money. You're like, great idea. That's probably illegal. Don't do that. All right. Okay, thanks guys. I'll see you on the next video. Sorry, that was not like great, exciting video. I hope it was a little enjoyable. Not enjoyable at all. Zero pleasures had. Bean? Yeah. I've got an idea for a video. Don't do that, first of all. So, what we do is we go to the pet store and we get a bunch of mices. Watch out. All right, and then you take the mices and you put them in here with me. And I eradicate them. Pernet, you can't, you've never killed one. You catch them and then you don't know what to do. You let them go. I got one now. Peanut, that is a cap. Screw you. Peanut, you're gonna choke on that. Spread it out. Thank you. Sorry. Jeez. I'm gonna get it again. I didn't choke. <laughs> oh God, I just threw up. It went in my mouth. Peanut, you sound like my ex-girlfriend. That was disgusting. All right, bye, Peanut.